Welcome to Green Numbers Data Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to concatenate character variables in SAS. There are lots of use cases for concatenating or combining text variables into one variable. For example, you might need to combine a first name variable and a last name variable to create a full name variable. I'm going to show you several ways to do this, so let's get started. We're going to be working with the names to data set. It has three fields, first name, middle name, and last name. For this exercise, I'm going to show you how to combine these fields, for example, to a full name. So let's start with that. In example one, I'm going to show you how to do this using the concatenation operator, or the double pipe. You can find the pipe on your keyboard just above the enter key with the backslash. So let's start by assigning our concatenated name to the variable full name. You can see that I already set the length for this so it doesn't get truncated. And we'll set full name equal to first name, double pipe, middle name, double pipe, last name. And let's run this. We see that our names are combined, but there's a lot of space in between. That's because the trailing spaces are part of the value. So let's get rid of these trailing spaces by using the strip function on each of our variables. Now let's run this again. Now all of our spaces are gone. So let's add a space between each value. We can do this by adding more pipes and a space between each one. And let's run this again. Now the full name looks just like we wanted. We don't need to use the pipe concatenation operator to put these variables together. There are other functions that can be easier to use. In example two, I'm going to show you how to use variations of the cat function. Let's start with cat. Again, we're using full name as our new variable and we're setting it equal to our new concatenated names. And the syntax for the cat function is cat followed by open and close parens. And inside the cat function, we just simply list the names of the variables we want to concatenate. So first name, middle name, and last name. So let's run this. Again, we see our variables, including the trailing spaces. To solve this, we can use the cat x function, which removes leading and trailing spaces and adds a delimiter between the variable values. So let's copy this, comment this one out. So let's add an x here to make this cat x and use a space as our delimiter. The delimiter goes in the front, Oops. just like that. And let's run this. Now we see our full name value in the format we expected, but we can use any delimiter we want. Let's copy this. For example, full name could be in last name comma first name format. So let's add a comma to our delimiter, get rid of middle name, and move last name to the front. And then run this again. Now we see that full name is now in last name comma first name format. This is the outcomes data set. It includes the outcome of a fictional study. Each subject has a person ID that allows us to track the participants. But for some reason, we see that person 111222 has multiple outcomes, A, B, and even C. That's because the person ID starts over every year and starts at one in every state. In order for each of our participants to be unique, we need to create a unique ID by combining state, year, and person ID. So we're going to solve this in example three. To do this, let's create a new variable named unique ID and set it equal to our concatenated value. Again, let's use the cat function and insert the variables we want to combine. State, year, person ID. 
And let's run this code. Again, we see that trailing spaces came with our values. Because we don't want any delimiter between our values, remember, we're creating a unique ID. We could use either of two different cat function. First, let's try cat with two T's. Cat with two T's removes trailing spaces. Run this again. Now our unique ID is in the format we need. We could also use the cat S function, which removes both the leading and the trailing spaces. So let's run this. And we get the same result. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you now have a few different ways of combining your text variables, depending on your needs. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get more content. Thanks for watching.